I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Dublin D, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick Mark Daniels here with episode 211 of our Pokemon Mr. Dungeon DX Let's Play. And guys, if you missed last episode, we went to the Marvelous Sea chasing after that elusive Shiny Magikarp. Unfortunately, we failed in our quest to get Shiny Magikarp, however. You can see our Pokedex is currently 432 out of 472, just 40 Pokemon away. Cannot wait. Um, so today we're going to go to the Fantasy Straight, searching for Shiny Altaria. It's also our first run through the dungeon, so I have no idea what's in here. Let's see, just make sure we got some good amount of supplies here. Yeah, we could probably deposit one of these, to be honest. Uh, no invitations on us, we should probably grab some invitations. And I'll grab a couple apples just to be, you know, on the safe side. And you'll notice I may look a little different uh, today. Uh, I got my new glasses today, finally, after about six years of having the same pair of glasses. Um, you guys probably can tell as much because of glare and because of, I mean, you're pretty far from me and you're not wearing them. But they're pretty beat up. Um, mostly the lenses. The lenses were very uh, scratched up for having them for so long. And I need a little bit of a stronger prescription. Nothing too bad. Nothing too crazy. Uh, surprisingly, not a huge upgrade. But, an upgrade nonetheless. So I can see a little bit more clear. <laughs> I'm still adjusting to them a little bit, though. I got, had a little bit of a headache earlier. Um, getting used to, you know, my eyes adjusting. But, uh, new glasses, baby. You know, new glasses, new me. Here we go. That means today, in this very first episode of anything. This is actually the first video I've recorded with these. Um, very first episode, we're going to get a shiny. Here we go. All these years, the bad luck that I've had is because of the glasses, clearly. All right, we're going to recruit the Zubat for the squad up ability. I'm actually, I wasn't paying attention. How many floors is this dungeon? Is it 25? I can look it up real fast. I'm just curious. Fantasy. I should have been uh, paying attention. But you guys know me. I don't pay attention to nothing. Uh, 30 floors, okay. Oh no, sorry. 25 in Mr. Dungeon DX, but 30 in Red and Blue Rescue Team. Roger that. I'm not going to look at the Pokemon that are in there, but I did see... How many floors were there? Clefairy. We don't need Clefairy. We will heat wave the heck out of it. I don't know if it matches, but we're looking for Shiny Altaria today. Um, normal Altaria is blue with like a white cloud. A shiny Alteria is gold with a white cloud. In case you guys have never seen a shiny Alteria before, don't worry you're gonna see one today, I guarantee it. Let's see. But man, let's, uh, well, let's talk a little bit about a little game that came out. As of me of recording this, it's been about a week ago. Because today's for well, technically it's Saturday now. I'm recording this a little late. <laughs> Had a very busy week. But, Pokemon Snap. New Pokemon Snap, specifically. Do we have our attacks on? We do now. Let them fight the uh, good fight over there. Um, but anyways, new Pokemon Snap. If you guys have played, I'm not going to spoil anything. Uh, for those who haven't played too much of it. Because we are going to have a Let's Play of it. I'll let you guys know now. I've already revealed it in my uh, Back on Track series. So it's not a huge spoiler. But I've recorded over 50 episodes of it already. Um, I've been enjoying the hell out of that game. It's probably... Just in case you don't watch that series, I'll kind of talk about my thoughts on it a little bit. Um, and by that series, I mean my Back on Track series. Um, which is kind of like a vlog. If you're interested, vlog about my... Uh, Kind of like what's going on with during the week, um, and also just kind of like me uh, physically and mentally trying to get in my life um, in a healthier position. Specifically my health, I mean, my physical health is the most, probably the worst of it, but that's beside the point. Anywho, 
So Pokemon Snap came out about a week ago, and uh, probably my favorite Pokemon experience I've ever had so far. Um, which is kind of crazy, because I have played Pokemon since the original. Since Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow came out back in like 97. I probably played in like 98. Um, give or take. I told the story about my first encounter with the uh, Game Boy game. And playing Pokemon Blue. Uh, I guess I quickly, just in case you you know, listen to that series. Quite, f just briefly, me and my friend Mario, uh, my best friend when I was a kid, we went to uh, the city pool. And while we were there, and again, I'm probably about seven or eight years old, somewhere in that range, somewhere in that range. And... You know, we were swimming, you know, having a good old time, and at the corner of our eye, we saw a Game Boy underneath one of those, like, uh, and again, I don't know what these kind of chairs are called, but they're the ones that you, like, lay f flat back on, right, to, like, soak up rays. What would you call that, a sun chair? I don't know, I'm not a, I'm not a chair specialist, but you know what kind of chairs I'm talking about, right? It was sitting under one of those. There was nobody in sight. There was no other items there. It was literally just the Game Boy. And inside the Game Boy was Pokemon Blue. So, my friend and I took it home. Uh, we lived literally right next... Uh, like, across the street from each other. And, uh... We took turns playing it. Now, the reason why we took it home and didn't turn it in is... A, we're kids. Keep in mind. And, B... My friend Mario, for whatever reason, I don't know if there's, I don't remember if there's like initials on it or something, but for whatever reason, he thought he knew who this Game Boy belonged to. At least that's what he told me. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to question him. He was a couple years older than me. I believed him. And, uh, so anyways, I'll talk about that here in a second, about him, uh, thinking he knew who uh, it belonged to. But... Me, him, and then his brother Jarrell, we took turns playing uh, Pokemon Blue, and uh, very, very, uh, my like just just blew our minds how amazing this game was. We had watched the anime of Pokemon up to this point, so we knew what Pokemon was, and we loved Pokemon. Um, even like they 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 would go to church every Sunday, and every now and then I would go with them. Uh, but Pokemon would come on like right before we would go to church, so like we would watch Pokemon. And then, uh, if I went to church with them, I'd go to church with them. But, uh, what a game, right? Pokemon Red and Blue, our first experience with Pokemon. And, uh, fell in love ever since with the games. Haven't missed one since. Played the majority of the spin-offs. You know, you're talking Pokemon Conquest, Pokemon Mystery Dungeons. I've played all the Mystery Dungeons, um, that, that have come out to the United States. I know there's a couple, I think there's like a WiiWare, like three of them that came out on the Wii. That were like WiiWare. You know what I'm talking about? Well, I haven't played those, but that's beside the point. I've played Pokemon Rumble. I've played Pokemon Coliseum XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, and XD Gale of Darkness. I should have put a, a a period in between those two. But you know what I'm saying. I've played through Pokemon Battle Revolution. I've played uh, Pokemon Ranger, the first one. I haven't played the other ones yet. We will play that on the channel at some point. I've played through every single uh, main line game, every single one. I've played Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon TCG, the original Pokemon Snap. The list goes on, right? I have played all of those. And after playing the new Pokemon Snap, and again, I mean, come on, Nintendo's not paying me to say this, obviously. <laughs> I know I'm kind of uh, sucking them off a little bit here, but I love the new Pokemon Snap game, and honestly, as I just said, it's probably my favorite experience I've ever had, just, I don't, again, I'm not trying, I'm not going to spoil anything, I promise. If I mention anything specifically about the game, it's things that you would learn in the tutorial. Keep that in mind. It's not like I'm going to spoil a Pokemon in there or anything like that, don't worry about that. But I went in blindly, and the only Pokemon that I knew about in this game were the ones in the original trailer that we did reactions to on str uh, not on stream, but um, I put it in uh, video form. And 
So I only knew a few Pokemon. Honestly, I couldn't even remember all the Pokemon in that freaking trailer because my memory is terrible at times. So I didn't know what Pokemon were in there. I don't know how many. Po I still don't know how many Pokemon are in there because we haven't. I haven't even found all the Pokemon yet, and we're 50 episodes deep. All right, keep that in mind. Like, it's a large game, and the probably the biggest negative thing about the first game, right? It's probably how fast you can beat it. It takes like an hour, hour and a half. I mean, if you're someone new to Pokemon Snap, maybe it'll take you a few hours. Um, you know, like, it's a very, very short game. New Pokemon Snap does a great way. And again, I'm not gonna... Even if I told you what, what, what I mean by that, it wouldn't be a spoiler. But they do a great job of kind of addressing that issue where they add a lot of re uh, replayability to each individual stage. They do a hell of a job. Um, and the selection of Pokemon are great, very diverse. All the areas look beautiful. It's a wonderful game. And I'm having a blast playing it. Honestly. And this is no knock on Mr. Dungeon because I'm having a blast playing Mystery Dungeon. I want to play Pokemon Snap right now. That's how much fun I'm having with it. Um, but, of course, you know, I want to. we're going to finish this series. And uh, we'll get this as soon as this is finished. We're gonna get Pokemon Snap up and going. Um, but just know that I am playing it and I'm loving it. Uh, but if you guys have played it, let me know what you guys thought. You know, what, what are you guys' thoughts on it? I know people maybe who have never played a Pokemon Snap before. Well, a Pokemon. There's only one other Pokemon Snap, but have never played Pokemon Snap before, um, or in, aren't into those kind of games where it's. It's, there's no competitiveness to it. There is no uh, meta. You know, there is no battling. You could say in terms of like... Um, like RPG elements, there are virtually... There, there are none, really. There's, there's none. It's a very basic idea. And if you were to explain this to somebody who's never played it, it may sound like a very boring experience. It's a it's an exploration game where you take pictures of Pokemon, and even if you you know delve deeper into it, it's a ooh, we got a monster house over here. It's a exploration game where you take pictures of Pokemon in a linear path because you're going on one path, um, primarily one path, and there is no like you can't just like you know steer off and all of a sudden I'm gonna go through the you know these trees over here out of, you know completely out of the way. Obviously, if you play Pokemon Step, you know you can't do that. So when you think of it that way, it sounds like a very boring experience. But there's something about this game, and they do such a great way of like making you feel immersed in this world and I'm not you know it's not like a Skyrim level of you know graphics or anything like that I'm not it's not like a realistic looking it still looks like Pokemon but they do still do such a great job with the ambiance with the with the Pokemon how they interact with each other um, it's very relaxing and you just kind of lose yourself playing I love it I mean if you got if you're someone that's on the fence on the new Pokemon Snap because you think, man, $60 for a Pokemon Snap game. You know, the other one, there's not a whole lot. You know, like, it's, it's such a quick experience. I'm telling you guys right now. I just mentioned that I have 50, I can tell you right now, 57 as of this recording, 57 videos. And I'm not, honestly, not even close to being done. Now, keep in mind, as I'm here... Playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX, over 200 episodes deep, on a game that you could probably, if you just were to beat the game, would be done in like, you know, the, the amount it took me to do 30 episodes. Yes, there are extra stuff that I'm that I'm doing in that game, and I'm going to be doing in that game, that a normal person probably wouldn't do if they're just playing through the game, which is going to take up a lot of extra time. Yes, there's some of that, and again, I'm not going to go deep into that here. Maybe in another video I will, a little bit, because there'd be enough time for people to play the game, or watch people play it, or whatever. But just know that there's some extra stuff you can do in that game. And honestly, again, if I told you what those extra things are, it's not really a spoiler. But, 
there are some extra stuff to do in that game that's going to cost uh, me to spend a lot of extra time on this game. Much like Mystery Dungeon, because that's what I do. I like to... If there's stuff to do in a game, I like to do it. You know, I want to complete the game as much as possible, especially if I like the game. If I don't like the game, you know, then maybe I skip on some stuff or I just... I don't do it. Obviously, I want to have fun. But there's a lot to do in that game if you're willing to do everything. But even if you don't want to do everything, listen to me here. If you don't want to do everything, you don't want to do all the additional stuff, even just going through the game and wanting to be like the story, or even if you just wanted to see all the Pokemon, um, if you use a guide, obviously you can find one pretty quickly. You can find all the Pokemon pretty quickly. I've avoided that for 99.99% of the game so far. I've only looked up a couple little things, um, and it had nothing to do, though, with where Pokemon are at. When you watch the series, you'll know, all those will be deep into the series before that happens. I'm talking like 50 episodes or so in, before I start actually looking some stuff up. But if you're someone who's going to do that, try to get through the game. I mean, I'm not someone who wants to speed run through a game when I first buy it. But say you are. Say you're going to try to play through this game at a normal pace. Maybe not speed run, but like a normal pace. Play it for a few hours here and there. It's probably going to take you like 20 hours to beat it. Which may not sound like a lot to some people. But when you think of some other games in comparison, um, as far as like how much time it takes to beat a game or to get through a game, it's actually a good amount of time. Um, so I would, I would say if that was your big concern, I wouldn't worry about it. If you're someone who enjoys playing a game like Pokemon Snap, if you played the original Pokemon Snap and you liked it, um, let me tell you something, this is that, but on a much larger scale, and it's so much fun. You're gonna like it. If you like the original Pokemon Snap, you're gonna love this game. Trust me. But... Like I said, if you've played it, let me know. But if you're someone who's on the fence, let me know. If me talking about it has helped you uh, make a decision. Um, if you're still on the fence, if you are, why are you on the fence? Just let me know. I'm curious to know. But I can tell you, I've loved it. I can't wait to play it again. Um, it's been one hell of an experience. Pretty much all weekend, I was pretty much just locked in my room just playing uh, Pokemon Snap. I took a little bit of a break after that, after that for a couple days. In my break, I mean, instead of recording for like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten hours, I recorded for like three hours. <laughs> but I've just been having a blast, man. It's such a fun game. We haven't seen a single Altaria, by the way, which is very disappointing. Another Monster House, though. But yeah, and like I said, I'll, I'll talk maybe talk about it a little bit more in the future if you guys want about Pokemon Snap, maybe in a little bit more detail. But uh, it's really good, man. It's really good. And on the flip side, you know, if you're not someone who's gonna use like guides or anything, unless you really just like had, you know, I've had enough. I gotta look this up, like I've kind of done. Um. You're going to have even more than just 20 hours of the game. Because again, I'm about... I'd say a little over 30 hours now. After doing 57 episodes. Probably like... 33 hours deep into the game. And I haven't even seen every Pokemon yet. Again, I haven't looked them up though. And I'm not even sure how many Pokemon are in the game. But I've seen under 200 Pokemon so far. So keep that in mind. So we're going to leave through here. Now, there may only be just 200 Pokemon. Again, I have no idea. But I can tell you that I, I have not seen them all. And... There's still plenty to, for me to do in that game. <laughs> I've barely scratched the surf. Well, I wouldn't say I would barely. I, I'm, I would probably say if I were to guess a percentage of how much of the game I've, I've, I've actually like fully completed... Hmm. It's a wild guess. I would say anywhere between 60 and 70%, maybe higher 
maybe 75. I would say around that range, as far as completing everything in the game. So we still got a little bit of a mountain to climb. And I'm very happy about that. I expected Pokemon, I literally, I was expecting like maybe 10 hours. You know what I mean? I was thinking, yeah, you know what, I, I, I'll take the weekend, we'll beat it in like 10 hours. You know, um, do everything there is to do in the game. Sandstorm. There was a sandstorm. Anywho, um, I was thinking maybe 10 hours to beat the game. But as I was playing through, I'm like, wow, there's so much to do in this game. <laughs> and I was pleasantly surprised. And it's nice because it's definitely going to be able to hold me over until uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes come out. Because otherwise, I was going to have to figure out what I was going to fill in that slot um, until then. And I didn't know what I was going to do. I was thinking maybe Pokemon Ranger. Because I do have Pokemon Ranger on the Wii U, on the Virtual Console. And eventually I'm going to buy all the other two uh, Pokemon Ranger games on there as well. We'll play them on the channel at some point. Um, might, might be a year from now, who knows. But we'll play we'll play through some of the Pokemon Ranger games. Uh, I want to get the Explorers of Sky on there, the Mystery Dungeon game. Um, but anyways, I was thinking about doing something like that, I guess. Or we were going to play through Pokemon Black or, or Pokemon White, one of the 5th gen games. Um, because as I mentioned many a times before, 5th gen is my least favorite generation of Pokemon games. And I feel like I owe it to Pokemon. I owe it to myself. I owe it to anyone who loves 5th gen. To maybe give it a fair shake because... It's very possible that when Pokemon Black and White came out, I was in a weird time in my life. I was working a lot. I was going to college. Um, I was very busy. And it's very possible that just the time period in where my life was at took away my enjoyment of that game. I remember having to literally force myself to beat Pokemon Black and White. We don't have Ninkata. Had no idea. No, no idea at all. Wow. Okay. I know that we need. Uh, is it Sheninja? No. Yes. So we could probably use another Ninkata so we can evolve one as well. And do 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 Sandstorm. And then we'll go into a sunny day here. Boom. So yeah, maybe it's been the time period in which my life uh, was semi-miserable. Not because of, like, you know, just tough time, right? Going to school early in the morning. Some night classes. You know, working, uh, you know, a very stressful job. I mean, not stressful because of the people or anything. It's just, it's a lot of work. Um, I was working, I was a manager at Pizza Hut. And I didn't, like, mind the job. The job was fine. It's just, it's obviously, it's a very uh, demanding job because of how busy we were. We were in a college town. And you're on your feet, you know, eight hours, ten hours, depending on what your shift is. You don't get a you don't get a break, and you're constantly moving. And me, I was I was the kind of cat, and this is a bit of a humble brag, but I was kind of the cat that was uh, trying to fill in any gaps where we were slacking if if we were busy. Like, um, for instance, our delivery drivers were also kind of in charge of like doing dishes, doing uh, dough prep for the next day, and things of that nature. So if, if we had a lot of deliveries, and we were a delivery store, we actually didn't have a dining, we were specifically a delivery store. If we had a ton of deliveries, which happened pretty often, I would try to fill those gaps while those guys were gone, try to do some of their jobs um, to kind of keep them caught up so they wouldn't be there all night, right? So I was working pretty hard. And, uh, is that Eradicate? Yeah, it is. Um... So I was very just tired all the time from working. My ankles were always sore. My feet was always sore. But, uh... So yeah, I don't, like I said, I'm not sure, uh... 
If that's the reason I dislike the games, but maybe it's the pacing of the games are weird for me. The lack of diversity, maybe, in, uh, in generational Pokemon. I, you know, because it's primarily... Actually, I think in black and white, it's all just 5th gen Pokemon until post-game, which is a brave move to make. And I respect them for trying that, to be honest. And it is a lot of Pokemon. But... Okay, we're done. Okay, we didn't get a single Altaria? Really? Does Maybe Altaria doesn't pop up in the first run? Maybe I'm saying that to make myself feel better? I don't know. This flew by. But not only that, like, there's a, like, there's not a lot of 5th gen Pokemon that I'm crazy about. I love Crocodile. Hydreigon's really cool. And there's a few others, but for the most part... I'm just not crazy about it. Sure. Power Drink. Now we'll give it to, uh, Rin. Alright, but a false swipe. Accuracy. What kind of TMs we got? We got Fire Blast, Blizzard, and Thunder. Actually, some pretty decent TMs. Especially that Blizzard. We're going to take that. We don't need all these tiny apples. TBH. Alright. That's, that's that run, huh? Wow. For some reason, I might have still thinking this is a 30 floor dungeon. So I wasn't even considering the fact that we were almost done. But yeah, I was thinking about playing either Pokemon Black, uh, playing Pokemon Ranger, and maybe a Pokemon uh, ROM hack of some sort. Depending on how much time, if there wasn't that much time in between, um, Pokemon uh, Snap and uh, Diamond and Pearl. Maybe I'll just do like some uh, Pokemon Showdown or something. Something quick. Yes. Maybe play around a Pokemon Stadium or just just something like very short that I can do. Alright, so we got Nincata. So hey, a new Pokemon. We'll take that. I'm certainly not going to complain. Puts us at 433. One step closer. To that Living Dex Complete. Which is the ultimate go, uh, goal for this uh, Let's Play. Nkata, 290. Bop, complete. Alright. We do need Shed Ninja. We do have a Ninjask. We need a Shed Ninja. So we'll either have to recruit Shed Ninja or get another Nincada to evolve it. And by catch, I mean recruit. But yeah, I was thinking I was going to have to fill the time up with something. I don't know what I was going to fill it with. Um, it just really depends on how many, like, how much time we had. Because, like, again, I was thinking Pokemon Snap would be a short uh, game. But now that it's going to be probably close, I would say 80 episodes, maybe 100 tops. I don't think it'll quite get that much, but maybe it will. Um, that's, you know... <laughs> if it goes to 100, that's 200 days worth of, uh, worth of Pokemon uh, content. Um, well... It's 100 days, but since it's every other day, it'd be 200 days before I'd be finished, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah. But anyways, that long-winded uh, you know, discussion was basically just me saying, now that I know that Pokemon Snap is such a long game, which it is, I don't have to worry about filling that gap, because we're probably going to go above that, and I'm probably just going to wait to... Uh, Upload Pokemon Diamond and Pearl so that they're doing Pokemon Snap. Like we're doing now with Mr. Dungeon Pokemon Snap. I'll probably record it the weekend of. Just to avoid any type of spoilers that might be in the game, whatever that could possibly be. Whether they, you know, introduce any type of regional forms, uh, but they bring back like Mega Evolution or something. Anything like or any like anything new to the story, anything like interesting like that. To avoid any type of spoil, I probably will rush to record it. And I am excited for it. But I'm not going to, like, stagger, like, upload or anything like that. Or just upload it every day. Um, like I've done in the past for something like that. Because it's just a remake. Now, 
Arceus Legends, on the other hand, I will do that for. Regardless of what's going on with Arceus Legends, I will um, upload as soon as the game comes out. That first episode's going up that day. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then we'll do the every other day thing. It might just take up uh, the 3 p.m. slots uh, every day except for you know Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, whatever it is we have to do, we'll figure that out as we go. But then eventually it'll take the slot of whether, whatever Pokemon game is in that slot, which will probably be Diamond and Pearl, to be honest, uh, depending on when Legends comes out. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. No Altaria encounter. Uh, I don't even know if Altaria was encounterable or in, our, in our first run of that dungeon. I have no idea. Let's take a look. Um, let's see, where is it at? Fantasy Straight. See, there it is. There's Altaria right there. Um, Pokemon that we can recruit here. We need Sheninja. We need Wurmple. Interesting. So we need a Wurmple. Okay. I think we also need like... Is it Metapod or Caterpie? Or did we already get that taken care of? <laughs> Let me look. I'll tell you, you know what, real quick. I'll tell you guys what we need in our Pokedex. It's not much. So we need Ivysaur, Venusaur, Persian, Psyduck, Machop, Victory Bell... Seeking Ammonite, Chikorita, Bayleaf, Meganium, Cyndaquil, Iglybuff, Umbreon, uh, Celebi, Trico, Grovas, Skeptile, Torchic, Wurmple, Sheninja, Skitty, Swalot, Feebos, Kecleon, Walrein, Jirachi, Roserade, Riolu, Weavile, Leafeon, Porygon Z, and Sylveon. And then Shinies. We, need, we still need Rapidash, Magikarp, Dragonite, Hoot Hoot, Espeon, Altaria, and Metagross. So anyways guys, next episode, should we do another one of these newer ones? Should we do the Hoot Hoot? Yeah, you know what, let's do, let's do another round of these newer dungeons since they are newer and fresh. And then we'll go back to adding the older... Uh, dungeons that we have un have unlocked for quite a while and have ran several times we'll start adding those back into the rotation so we'll start with murky cave and then we'll do marvelous scene and fantasy straight thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i'm the Nevermore daniels bidding you farewell peace and one love bye